going through immigration in Delhi. Mi Milo. Vietnam is an amazing country. I highly recommend you visit it. If you enjoy my content, please do like, comment, and subscribe for more. Much love. It's a jungle out here. Oh, how much the cash? This place is a jungle. Oh, I will be. Oh, the action Vietnam is super cool. I really like this place so far. Um, super bustling, good vibes, nice colors, clean. Um, I really love Vietnam. It's our first day, and um, just you know, haven't really been taking much footage. I just want to be present here, but you can kind of see what it's like. Milo's got some street food from over here. night Vietnam is very beautiful that's something I'm coming to learn there's a couple there having fun just relaxing with Milo walking around having fun enjoying the the nightlife vibes. I don't know what this is, but it's cool. I'm not sure who this dude is, but we could read about him later. Some kind of scholar. Vietnam is so pretty, man. Kids are playing over there. Having lots of fun. I feel like a kid. So many, so many cute, too many cute things to capture in one video, but this is a glimpse. Oh, look at owl. They have a second floor. They have like every animal you can imagine hidden <laughs> on these cups. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. What is this, bee? Yeah. Oh, that's like a, a cheetah or some kind of a thing like that. And it's a beautiful church. Hey, brother. The beautiful church. Jesus coming in strong to save the people and some archangels over there. This looks like a tarot card. Wow. My first foe in Vietnam. I'm wasted. I always wanted to walk. And it's 11 p.m. right now and I can't walk anymore. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm riding a bike. Mila didn't want to walk. I'm going to walk. 
walk. We only have a kilometer to go, but we're yeah, we're getting back to the hotel yeah. to rest a bit before we go to Sapa. <laughs> asleep in the car on the way here um, from like 1 a.m. till now it's probably like 6 5 30 in the morning and this is our, where we're at now this is our driver so pretty and man I can't help but just uh, feel like wow we were here at war with Vietnam back in the day and uh, it's just sad it's just sad to think that we bombed this place and that this all happened but I'm grateful to be here I'm grateful to experience the beauty of this place and I don't have to be uh, living through the horrors of what happened here um, And uh, this place is cool. It smells so nice. Great for the bee here. Wow. This place is so cool. No one took care of me. No one took care of me. I need to do Pachacama. He's saying no one took care of him, even though I was doing Reiki on him. <laughs> Were you? He just you thought were taking care of him. he thought I was being mean. Yeah, you were so mean to me. Because he was hacking up in the bathroom, and I was like, "What are you doing in there? Why are you making all that noise?" I said. Cut some fruit. Mark out an omelet. Just the stairway to heaven. <laughs> Just throwing rice out and planting the rice. And the potty, rice potty. Mm. Mm. This place is so cool. The sun is peeking up. The rooster. <laughs> you can't really see too much out here, but I still thought it looked quite cool to capture. <clears throat> Mysterious orbs. There are spirits out there. Can you hear the frogs? We're on a walk with our tour guide who's up there with Mark, and we're exploring the area here. We're descending into the valley. We have some kids that we made friends with, and that's kind of what's going on right now. I'm with the uh, Uncle Mila. Wow, who, who, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> who, who are you? Who are you? What? <laughs> Milo always acts surprised, even though he knows exactly what's happening. No, I don't. I was. Someone woke me up. <laughs> Mila, Mila's been sick, so he's been 
kidding himself. He's been depressed. Yeah. <laughs> but we but now he's happy. Okay, I'm happy now. <laughs> You know why we wait for whole day? We need to wait for the whole day. All the indigo pay, mm -hmm. they are falling down on the bottom. Oh, yes. So okay. then after that, we take all the water on the top go away. Okay. We take the water inside the bottom to put on the pan. We we'll keep the indigo pay to diving. Oh, wow. Yes. And the so limestone. The indigo color. Yeah, indigo color. The plants here. And the, the limestone yeah. comes from the rocks. Yeah, from for the, the rocks. Yeah. Here. yeah. So some people they're burning. So this is okay. indigo. Yes. This is how they make so indigo. So the heat. Yeah, the heat color, and the burning for for changes the green to blue. Yeah, changes. Yes. Wow. So wow. It's like the indigo is like natural color, mm. and most we also have orange or purple color. Mm -hmm. we'll take a shower. So we're gonna paint our hands blue. Just only your hand, not not the face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's yeah. make our hands blue with the indigo plant. Oh, it's Mark, so pretty, yeah. Mark. Mark, you look so pretty, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you look so feminine now with the with your blue hands. Because this is the, you look like a, a Vietnamese woman when during this time of year. They all have the blue hands. So, so we're very feminine right now. <laughs> So we got the blue hands, and uh, it's pretty cool. I really like the indigo plant. It's such a beautiful color, and it actually ha doesn't have like a weird feeling to it. It has a very nice, soft feeling. Rice. Okay. That when they have start to have a baby rice, then we will throw all the seed and the rice paddy. They can grow it by themselves. Okay. But when we just throw the seed from there, yeah. they're very hard to grow it up. Okay. So we need to make the. Um, have a growing up first and then we throw later. Yeah, so yes. you germinate the rice first yes. in using this yes. you, this to plant. make it getting very warm and very yeah. hot. Okay. Yes. And then when oh. they get a little bit then you the throw baby, them yeah, into yeah, the, the water. baby, yeah, yeah, the baby, yeah. Then oh, we throw the in. Baby. Yeah, the baby oh. rice. So you sprout oh. it. You yes, sprout right. it with yes. this. The baby rice ne needs milk too. So. <laughs> no, you talk about Sweet. bad thing on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bad Milo. Yeah. <laughs> They are very, they don't eat but they hit it, so it's spread. So we mm. need to watch in the buffalo for whole day. Okay. So in the morning... So they don't eat the corn. Yeah. So <laughs> we, they almost to the corn, we, we take, bring them going out. Mm -hmm. So we eat by corn, we need to pay also. Because they have their own buffalo, on the rice field they have their own. So when they eat like a sample, they eat like the other family, we need to pay for them. Yes. So that's why when we have a buffalo, then we need to watch in the for whole day. Yeah. Yes. To make sure they don't eat, eat. Yeah. You don't want them to eat the other people's stuff. Yeah. Otherwise you owe them. Otherwise you owe the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much money? How much? How much? Pardon? How much? We don't pay money. We pay rice. Oh, you pay rice. Oh, they yeah. pay in rice. Yeah. Oh. When you uh, when you eat like buffalo, going to eat the other family corn, so we need to pay the corn for them. Ah. And we don't need to pay money, but we pay corn for them. Okay, and we'll, when the buffalo they eat rice, we need to pay rice. Oh. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, this yes. eat it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So, oh. Water potato. Yeah, water potato. This is water potato. Yes. Oh. Okay. They eat the water potato. Now we're in the village. So we're strolling and then I noticed this old lady, she's 135 years old and 137, so she's very old. So I feel very pri privileged to meet the elder, yeah, she's the oldest lady in the village. She's amazing, huh? Let's go meet her, okay? She can squat better than me. Yeah. <laughs> she can squat better than me and she's 135 plus years old maybe 137 but she said 
the lady said she might be older and uh, she used to be a shaman but now she can't talk so much so she's uh, just living she's like a tree wow she's like a tree okay. amazing <laughs> wow for like two days or two and a half days mm. and the color will turn very white but after the color turns very white we need to go into clean on the water so all the one they slowly go away yeah so after they go away we will um, boil in the uh, hot water and then we put all this on the string inside till one or two mm -hmm. and the one they are slowly and uh, the ash they are slowly go away yeah so after that we take all the ash go away we will boil a little bit of wash and the hot water we put all the string inside the wash and to make it getting very flat then after we go into flowering all the top leaves they get they're getting very flat and very easy to get it out yeah, this yeah. is how they make the hemp this is, they're making the hemp uh, fabric that's a special rock yeah the special stone there's the special stone yeah. you see this middle we don't have a shiny yes i did for you oh, she's putting so wax we put the wax here and then, and then they grab it and huh? to make the clothes shiny. this is a hemp that they have dyed. They dye it for six months, and there's a whole long process that they do. Oh, see it nice and shiny now. You see, wow. you get a very shiny and yeah. little bit almost purple. Yeah. Yeah. So after when we plow the finny, we will not leave on the water. Mm. We will cut it. We're going to sewing on the machine to make a cloth for baby. Okay. Yes. And then they sew over there. Rice one. Yeah, alcohol inside. <laughs> That's what he he likes that. He likes the sake. And, uh, you know like the rice one, alcohol? Every family, they do, they have their own. Oh, that, there's alcohol in there? Yeah. So we take the rice one and with the indigo pay mix together. Oh. And the color more stronger. Oh. Because the water from here, just for the water for the fire, ash water. Mm. Yes. Oh. oh, God, it's so strong. Yeah, strong. Three yeah. and two ask me. And we ask some people and they say, this man good or not? Uh, this family is good or not? Mm -hmm. Also, when you say, it just like an uh, example, just the man come to marry you, you say, okay, very easy. <laughs> and otherwise, sometimes you marry him and not very good man also. Mm -hmm. So we need to slowly to talk, yeah. Okay. So in Sabah, Don't rush into it. Yeah, in Sabah here, before we have a kidnap for marriage, Around, yeah, kidnap for Mary. Like the woman, she go on the market to go around the street. Uh -huh. And when the man he like to, uh, the man, when he like to, uh, when he like the girl, so he will call six or seven men, come to the girl to kidnap the girl, oh, bring to the man house, three night, four day. Yeah. So when the man he kidnap the girl, go into the man house, he need to watch the girl for a whole day. It's not watching the girl, she run away. Yes. So by you know the man he kidnapped the girl for Mary, he'll use this on the mountain. Okay. Yes. Mm. So yes. it's a yes. old school machinery. Yes. To grind the his flower. Yes. Wow. Hey, okay, now cool. this one just leave here for showing. Yeah, yes. like that one we saw yes. in yes. the yard. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There's a lot of milkweed here. Butterflies love this. We've no already noticed a lot of butterflies around here. But yeah, we've been walking around. She was just telling us about marriage and it's uh, customary for the, the males to, the men to like come and when they want to marry, they, they, I think they drop off like a horn at the, house of the lady and then they visit like a few times maybe three to four times and they ask the family if, if they have their permission to marry and if they do then they get, end up getting married the other tradition is that the man will kidnap the woman and keep her there for four days three nights and then uh, then she goes home and then she can decide if she wants to marry him but Sometimes in the past, I don't think they had a choice actually, but she was saying now it's different. They do have a choice, but I thought that was a wild thing and I'm learning a lot of. Oh, we're... 
kiddos. Hey kiddos. Continuing, we just had a nice lunch. Um, my phone fell up with memory again. It's a silly phone. Um, but I didn't record that. But yes, we are continuing our adventure. Awesome. We're going through a bamboo forest. And Mila was just saying this is the most nature we've gotten on our travels for a while. And it is true. It is nice to finally be in some nice nature. Vietnam is spectacular. Uh, bamboo forest and <laughs> oh my god look at you what the hell are you doing <laughs> oh, that's, it's the hemp leaf so they make their clothes with the hemp yeah. I don't know. that's the cows yeah. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Should I try to eat him, feed him? Good girl. He's gonna die. Good boy. Hare Krishna. He liked the hemp. Gonna I'm gonna get him more hemp. Hold on. I'm gonna get him more hemp. He likes the hemp. Feed him another bit. Another bit of hemp. So, there we got some hemp. I'll feed it to her. But I guess this is a boy because he didn't have a horn. No, it's still a female, I think. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, sweetheart. Good girl. Sweetie. You're so sweet. Good girl. Good girl. I love them. <laughs> Bye, sweetheart. She has such beautiful eyelashes. Look. So cute. Bye, sweetheart. For what? I what? have so much anger. Why? Bucket. Bucket, why? It's, I can't. I can't do this anymore. My, I sent a picture of my hands to my sister. Because you're sick, huh? He's better. <laughs> I think he's acting. <laughs> he is. I sent that picture of my hands to my sister yesterday and she replied back, frostbite? Question mark? Mm. <laughs> he just did. <laughs> so, <laughs> she thought I was frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> In Vietnam. <laughs> So Look, my hands are still a little bit blue. Yeah. But this is the nice breakfast. Start with fruit, some watermelon juice, yogurt, and then we go on to salad. Then we go on to an omelet with some toast. And uh, that's how we've been doing it. Thank you guys for bringing me here. Thanks for coming. What? What? It's my first time ever on a bus where you can lay down like this, super cool. We're in a limousine. And we're about to leave Sapa. Back to Hanoi. This is really comfy. Milo! Hey buddy. <laughs> where, where's Mike? Hey Mike. I love this 
bus. I can do yoga in here. I can watch the beautiful outside. And, uh, it's super cool. Super cool experience. And I can also go to sleep if I want to. This is our room in yes. Hanoi, Vietnam. What do you think about this place, Ro? On the top of the world. Right? Isn't this insane? Like, let's let's get the zoom out so you guys can kind of see the immensity of this view. Look, look down, look down, look down. It's so cool. I mean, we're like really up here. And I, I was stoked. We I, He was like, oh, we're going to the 10th floor. I was like, no way. We're really going to the 10th floor right now. Uh, this is our, our crib, beautiful setting, and uh, yeah, so nice, so nice. Well, there's a lantern festival here, like... Uh, from Hanoi, with love. You wanna see that? No? Love is in the air. Yeah. Love is in the air. No, it's <laughs> close the street. No, Can you feel... Hello tonight. Whoa, look at the art, local art. There's a big booty over there. This is my first banh mi, my first banh mi bread sandwich. I had found one with just chicken and no pork. How do you like it, brother? Milo's obsessed with these. Why do you like these so much? It has poop in it, diarrhea, and... What the hell? You're a sicko. Get out of here. But this this guy loves them. He, he ate two his first day. 
then he got food poisoning after drinking a uh, uh, <laughs> sugar cane juice that was not fresh. And now he's back to eating the banh mi's, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, so far so good, but I still don't, I don't really understand the hype of these to be honest, but if you're a foodie, this is uh, one of the famous foods in uh, Vietnam, so have fun. Attention foodies, you must come and get one of these. Bananas ra um, wrapped in sticky rice, grilled, and then the, the colored sticky rice is made from these different um, uh, herbs, like the blue butterfly pea, which I'm a big fan of. So they make that. This is jackfruit. Or you can get them like that. And then they add this uh, coconut tapioca with like peanuts or it, and you can get coconut shavings. So very yummy, very yummy. We already devoured it. Heaven. Heaven. So this is in the Night Market Street. If you come to Vietnam, check this out. Support these local ladies. They're working hard. Akira Toriyama, we love you. You are going to be from, remembered forever through these characters and the epic anime that you created. Anime appreciator's dream come true. <laughs> Guys, I, I developed a big love for claw machines when I was in China. So we're checking this one out. Hello. We'll see if there's anything worth winning in here, but I don't really see anything like worth winning. Okay, we got the coins. Let's see this. Let's see this. Wait, 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 wait. What? You're trying to get the Barbie doll. Why? Go, go for this guy. Go for this guy. How do you do? How do you do? Hurry up! Hurry up! Go! No! 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 Don't hit that. See? Wait. Wait. Now. 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 Hit it. Now. Hit it. Oh! Oh my God! No, what you, the heck? you gotta go again. What the fuck? See, that's the thing. See how the claw opens right away? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta keep. No, don't, oh, shit, don't shit. just smash it. Oh my god. <laughs> how do you, how do you do Take it? your time. Take your time. Okay, take your time. Okay, done then. Now take your time. Line it up. Then, yeah. then go. Yes. Okay. Let's see if you get the good claw. Oh my god. See, no. See how you it's open. Dropping it back. This is Hanoi at night. Hanoi at night. Atop our hotel. Mm -hmm. On the top floor of Aurora Premium. <laughs> no one here. Just just two of us. You work full time here? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Yes, sir. This is Mr. Black. Yeah. He's taking care of yeah, us at so the hotel. Mr. Black. Uh, our hotel staff. Yeah. How come happens to you? Yeah. How you We're at the we're at the Aurora yes, Spa and Hotel. Yeah. yeah. And. You look like me, huh? You look like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your <Okay>. brother. <laughs> So okay. we're, we're gonna go and go to a, no, a museum today. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. To the bike. To the bike. To the bike. To the bike. No. He. He just wants to sell cigarettes. Thank you. I will come for this service. Uh, my name is Benjamin. Today I will take care of our family for how long will you want? Wake up. In the Wake up. Today, our basket to the hotel to uh, pick up our group from different hotel. So uh, some people right here have to wait a long time on the bus. Some other people have to wait a long time at the hotel and my company. Thank you for waiting. Yeah. 
Thank you for waiting our bus. We are have enough people ready. Today our bus have 44 people. <laughs> Why are you so sad? It's because Mike's not able to come with it. Thank you so much. I hope this is good. It's a green bean. Yeah, Taro. I want this one. That's like sticky yeah, rice. Yeah. That's like sticky rice bomb. One dollar, one this. We miss Mark. Mark is it's Mark's birthday and he's sick, so that's why meal is sad. It looks like we land in China. Hello. Going to board the the ferry. And we're gonna go somewhere cool. With like Guilin looking mountains having fun we really love the tour guide it's our tour guide he's amazing okay okay everybody everybody please please do me a favor one he's a G. two three four four better okay. one <laughs> Waiting for our seafood and chicken. And uh, we're here with everybody. We're going to be going out somewhere cool. Uh, along by one day tour, our crew has two floors. The first floor is a dining room where we are sitting for having lunch. I had a pretty bad gut feeling about this meal, but I decided to eat it anyway, and I had to pay the price. I ended up getting food poisoning from this very meal, so it was unfortunate, but you live and learn. Wow, guys, look, it looks like Guilin in China. And we're not far from Guilin, China, so it makes sense that uh, the mountains kind of look similar. in Ha Long Bay, Vietnam. That's the reason why in Ha Long Bay, Vietnam, when our crew docking or parking at the harbor, <laughs> Vietnamese government doesn't allow anyone to stay outside. Ha Long Bay, Vietnam. We're gonna go kayaking. <laughs> kayaking. This lazy guy is making me do all the work. Who? You? I don't know how. I don't wanna fall. It's his first time kayaking, so he's scared of us falling. I am too, because I don't want to lose my phone. And I can't make videos. But yeah, we're, we just went under like a cave tunnel and we're floating around. We're going to go explore over there. Hey, what up, brothers? We're going through. Yeah, paddle on the left. Good job, Mila. Nice. Okay, paddle. Even out, even out. Looks so much like we in China. Yeah. We're in a touristy area. Lots of things. Lots of people. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. When they came right here, they began spitting out Z and Zulri. Halong Bay. We have already come to the biggest and the most beautiful place. This is the last chamber of the cave. 
the chamber carbonara of 9,000 square meter with a lot of beautiful stalactites, stalagmite. Uh, coming to visit the cave, you can see the ceiling of the cave look like this one. You can see the ceiling of the cave look like sea water wave. The ceiling of the cave is upside down. Yeah. Why? Because the formation of the cave is the result of water. Creep. It's like someone sitting, a rock being. Made it out of the cave. The Indian family is with us. Please do like, comment, subscribe for more and much love guys.